everyone. Happy Thursday. Um, it is almost 11 o'clock. I, um, first time coming on here this week because I've just been doing <laughs> again stuff that you guys can't see yet. Um, I'm actually going to be working on, I just finished filming the intro for the sew along, uh, for Sunday. Um, but I'm actually probably going to spend the rest of today filming parts of the sew along. Um, there's going to be, this is going to go over a long stretch of weeks or I mean, longer than normal, just because I'm breaking things up into much smaller chunks um, so that they're easier to go back. Um, since this is a standard kind of a classic thing to sew, um, all these steps can be used for a shirt or a shirt dress. So um, yeah, I'm going to be breaking this up into a lot more um, steps than normal. So they'll be a little bit shorter, but a lot more. Anyway, um, so obviously I can't show you guys that because you guys will see that in the actual sew along. I'm getting ready to go over to a friend's house for a, a little catch up and uh, a little tea slash uh, lunch type thing at her house and then yeah coming back here to um, finish sewing the sole on my eye just totally dried up sorry <laughs> it was fine while I was filming just now um, anyway so that's kind of what I got going on today the kids are in school it's an in-school day our in-person or this is an in-person day our at-home days are getting a lot better so um, that is looking up so yay <laughs> for routine and schedules um, yeah, so they'll be home tomorrow, but I am hoping that I can get some things done tomorrow. I need to finalize my work from home module sew along plans. Um, I just ordered a couple pieces of fabric. Uh, not that I need more fabric, but I just, I really wanted to make a couple of things and I just don't have anything in my stash that I can use for that, oddly enough. I have a ton of woven fabrics and a ton of solids, but I really am lacking, um... You know, like I don't have a ton of knits. I have some. I do have some in my stash, but not a ton of them. Um, and I was wanting to work off a, a specific color pot. Anyway, long story short, I ordered three pieces of fabric today. So, um, yeah. So that will, I think, help me finish finalizing. Because I'm just doing seven pieces for this, um, for the actual sew along. Um, but then I am going to be adding things from my, obviously my current closet. And I'm going to show you guys at the very end of the, um, sew along series, kind of how I then, you know, now that we have this seven piece little module, how I then spring off that to create other modules, including just making stuff right out of my closet and putting together modules straight from my closet. So that's kind of the uh, plan there. So I just really wanted to come on and say hi because I didn't talk to you guys at all last week. <laughs> but again, I don't really have much I can show you today because I am going to be doing some sew along sewing. Um, hopefully, I mean, we'll see how long it takes me to actually film all that um, and how much time I have to actually do that tomorrow. Um, I feel like our blue days, which are our B days, are a little bit easier at home than our white ones. So and tomorrow is an at home blue day. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Okay, I've missed you all. Glad to be back. And um, yeah, I will talk to you guys. I'm going to get get on it because I've got to go um, put together a few things before I head out the door. Okay, I will see you guys soon. Hello, everyone. Am I all blurry? There we go. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. So last time I was on here was Thursday and I fully intended to vlog all week and clearly I haven't. <laughs> So I'm here to catch you up on things, what's been going on. So on, um, let's see, Thursday, you saw me and I was doing some filming. Um, Friday, my friend Jenny convinced me she ended up, she's gone back to work and, um, but she's not full time really. So anyway, she did not have to go in on Friday. And so she called me and convinced me that we needed to go um, thrifting, mostly because she had done her fall and, and winter closet purge and needed to donate a few things and then um, also wanted to consign a few things um, and wanted me to want to know if I wanted to play hooky and go with her and it was actually a um, in-home school day which typically I'm really like helping the children um, with their work and all that kind of stuff but uh, her daughter is good friends with my daughter and they are on the same, actually both my kids are on the same team at school, all three of them. Um, so they have the same set of teachers. They're not necessarily in the same classes, um, but they have the same teachers, the same homework assignments and stuff. And um, her buddy, my daughter's buddy, um, Jenny's daughter, <laughs> also is in the advanced math class. They're in sophomore um, geometry. They're both taking sophomore level geometry and they're both in the honors language arts um, class as well. 
So my son is not. He's an on level for both math and language arts. So anyway, um, Jenny dropped her daughter off here and the girls sat on the, it was a gorgeous day, absolutely gorgeous day. And the girls sat on our screened in porch because it's nice and shaded and worked on geometry for almost the whole day. Um, and they called uh, Annalise's sister a couple of times who is a junior in high school um, and a math whiz and uh, had to get some help. But, um, you know, my son did okay. Yeah, he texted me a few times with some questions, even though my husband was home. <laughs> and they weren't even like school problems. It was like, I can't figure out how to print off X, Y, Z. So I'm like, dad's on a call. Well, wait till dad gets off a call and then ask him how you print that off, you know, stuff like that. Um, but it was fine. We were just gone most of the, well, the morning. And then I was home like it early afternoon and able to help once I got home. But I wanted to show you, so not only did I pick up some things at Goodwill, um, thrifting, but we also went to this consignment shop that I had never been to because, um, like I said, Jenny wanted to consign a few things that she had. And, um, so it's a little bit more expensive, but I got two really great things. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to show you what I got. Look at this one piece of straight hair. I don't know what happened there. I guess I just missed it when I was curling yesterday. Anyway, so, um, that was Friday. And then of course it was Labor Day weekend here in the U S so we had Monday off. So it was a long weekend and, um, I spent the weekend with my family, number one, um, but we planted a tree. So my kids, um, we got rid of our, we had a, a swing set and like playhouse, like combined thing that was in our backyard. Um, so when we moved here to Indiana, they were four and a half and <laughs> and uh we had you know we got them a well they got from my parents actually for christmas or their birthday um their birthdays in september um this month uh got a swing set and it had like the playhouse attached to it and the whole nine yard like rock wall like the whole big play set thing and um it has been very well up since then but you know they're going to be 14 here in a couple of weeks and it has not been used in a while um which is sad you know it used to be like all the neighborhood kids would be on the back you know backyard playing and they still used it up until probably about a year ago um definitely the play got different like how they were playing with it but um you know they did use it but it was time for it to go and so another fa neighbor um another family in our neighborhood who have like a two-year-old daughter so they've just starting their family so there'll be you know probably more kids and um again their one is just two right now and so uh, they bought it from us and he came and disassembled the whole thing so he could reassemble the whole thing in his yard and wanted to do it by himself so that he would know how to put it back together which was great Anyway, um, we planted a tree where that um, was. So that's what we've been working on. There was a whole bunch of um, yard work that had to go on because of course there was a big dead spot in the yard where that um, place that had been, especially not so much over the swings, there was grass and stuff there, but where the actual like playhouse part of it had sat. So um, we spent, uh, and mostly it was my husband and son, <laughs> but um, you know, my Ava and I went out and helped a little bit too, but we spent most of the weekend um, planting a tree and then getting the yard all in order. Uh, let's see, I did quite a bit of knitting. Um, so I've been working on that orange sweater. Um, I'll show you guys that next week's vlog. Um, I'm almost done. Like I'm finishing the ribbing on the last sleeve and then I, so I'll wait and show it to you once it's all blocked. Um, but anyway, that is the sweater that I was working on. I did this, the knit along with my friend Jenny, uh, back at the beginning. I, it didn't take me too long. Let's see. I think we started at July 1st was when we got the pattern. Um, so, you know, just a couple of months, which isn't too bad. And I haven't been, oh, hello, we're being joined. You guys probably haven't seen Gidget. She likes to, uh, hang out with uh, upstairs under the desk because he doesn't move around. He stays uh, working in one spot, so she likes to sleep under the desk, but occasionally she'll wander down here to see what I'm up to. Hi. Say hello to everyone. Hello. Mwah. Um, so anyway, <laughs> that was kind of us this weekend. Um, and yeah, and I'll show you that sweater. Yeah, it didn't take me uh, all that long at all. Um, and actually, I'll show you, I have partially a kind of a teal colored sweater that I had been working on. That's still gonna get um, shelves for a little bit longer because um, the yarn that I was gifted, I really wanna do a cardigan out of it. Um, and I'm actually gonna be talking about that in my great mod or the work from home module sewing series. That's gonna be kind of my knitted project that I'm gonna work on this fall. Um, I just need to find a pattern, but anyway. Long story short, 
that's what I've been up to. And then, um, including like yesterday, like we were just hanging out as a family, watching movies. Um, my daughter did have some homework that she had to work on over the weekend. And then last night, while I was knitting, so my husband and I are a product of the 80s. We were, um, well, I was born in 1980 and he was born in 78. So we grew up, you know, our childhood years in the 80s, teenagers of the 90s. Um, and big, you know, any child born of that age all knows Karate Kid and loves the Karate Kid. <laughs> and uh, the movie The Karate Kid and um, there is a series on called Cobra Kai on Netflix which is the cheesiest um, series they're on season two right now but it's it's the same storyline from The Karate Kid but they're like grown now and it's so cheesy and there's so many flashbacks back to the movies so there were three Karate Kid movies with um, um, Ralph Macchio in them who played the Karate Kid. Um, and then, uh, is it Billy Zepka who plays Johnny in the very first one? He wasn't in two or three, I don't think. But anyway, um, we've been watching that because there's so much nostalgia. Number one, all the music is like 80s and it's wonderful. <laughs> and yeah, there's just so much like flashbacks and nostalgia there. So we've been watching that and um, I've been knitting. But last night I dr was knitting and dropped my pen. So I was, um, marking tallying rows. I need one of those um, row counter things, I think. Uh, but I was just writing tallies on the pattern, um, mostly because I had done one sleeve and the directions of the sleeve were like, you know, um, every inch and a half do a decrease row. And I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't wanting to measure. I wanted to make sure, you know, I, I did the first sleeve. So I knew that this many rows was um, an inch and a half. And so I could go by numbers of row for my knitting um, as opposed to measurements so that my sleeves matched. <laughs> um, so anyway, I was tallying and I dropped my pen on the floor and it kind of rolled under the chair a little bit. And I was kind of sitting with all of my knitting in my lap and there's kind of a higher um, arm rest on the chair. And I was reaching over really reaching trying to grab that pen that I dropped on the floor without disturbing my knitting that was like precariously sitting in my lap and I leaned over really really tight and um to bite to get that pen and I felt a pop <laughs> right here like under my left boob and <laughs> it hurts so bad um I think I dislocated a rib which is the most ridiculous thing ever I've been very tender all day today. It doesn't hurt to breathe. I was talking to my sister on the phone this morning and my brother-in-law was at home and I was asking her, I was like, is it possible to dislocate a rib? My brother-in-law was like, oh yeah, I do it all the time. He's like, you have to go back to the chiropractor and they they can pop it back in for you. But he said, does it hurt to breathe? And it doesn't hurt to breathe, but it does hurt to like do that and that. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to give it a couple of days and see if it, it feels better, but I definitely felt something pop. Anyway, that's what's been going on here. So I just wanted to share my thrift and consignment shopping haul with you all. Um, let's see, today the kids are in school, like actually in school, and I've been working on the sew along and the shirt dress is coming along so, so good. I just have to add the collar and collar stand and then do the buttons and hems and that's finished. And then I need to film the um, tower placket. So I'm going to, um, part of my work from home module um, that I'm doing is a button down shirt. And I'm going to use that to do the tower. I'll do a tower placket on that one. So I will film the tower placket for that part of the sleeve um, that will go in during that sew along. It's going to be seven parts when all is said and done <laughs> because of all the different steps. Then I want to be able to, to be easy for you guys to go back and reference for any button down shirt or shirt dress. So anyway, I've been working hard on that today um, It made a lot of great headway, but it's time to stop because the kids are going to be getting off the bus here soon. And on our Monday, Tuesday, Thursdays, um, my son has soccer practice and their school day starts later. And that has nothing to do with COVID. That was um, pl always in the plan. They were going to just, they pushed the middle school, high school back an hour. So they start an hour later, but they end an hour later. So um, this is it's just been a kind of a big adjustment because they haven't, um, they get home at like 420. So, um, which is late, you know, they were getting home at like, um, like 335 probably. So I guess it's not quite an hour later. Um, but anyway, 
um, he basically, instead of having a snack when he gets off the bus, eats a really early dinner at like 4.30 <laughs> to go to soccer practice and then just has a big snack when he gets home. So I do need to go ahead and get that all started. So such is our fall, you know? This is how fall is all the time. So, okay, I have three sweaters that I got from Goodwill. So the first one is, no cashmere this time, but this is a, uh, I think it's merino. None of this has been washed yet. I'm going to wait and, yeah. So this is a merino wool and this beautiful orange. It's from the Limited. I used to wear the Limited all the time. I didn't even know that, maybe they aren't. Or is the Limited even still around? I used to love it. But I love the gathering around this scoop neckline. I love the color. It's in fantastic condition. Like there's zero pilling um, or very, very minimal. So I think that this is going to be fantastic for the fall. And it's real thin, so I think it might be nice for layering. And, um, you know, fairly short. And I don't see any holes or anything in it. I looked it over pretty good. Um, again, this was Goodwill. I think I paid $4 for it. But I did look over it really, really well. Um, it needs to be washed. I'm waiting for more um, uh, of my Euclid to come in, which is the um, no-rinse wash that I use to block my sweaters when I've been knitting. And someone was like, why don't you wash your cashmere sweaters? <laughs> And I was like, oh, I'm just nervous too. And they're like, well, why wouldn't you wash them? I, I, quite a few people are like, why don't you wash them like you do your hand knit sweaters? And I'm like, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, one could totally do that if one wanted to save money and treat their cashmere nicely. Because sometimes, yeah, those chemicals in uh, dry cleaning. Anyway, it was one of those, of course, moments. So anyway, but I am almost out. And I had to order some anyway because I need to block the sweater that I'm currently making. So when I do that, I'm going to also wash these sweaters. So I've got this one um, in orange, which just has like a banded bottom, you know, just kind of like a, a long sleeve t-shirt almost, but a sweater. It's nice and soft. Um, and then I got this one. I think this one's Ann Taylor. Or maybe Ann Taylor Loft. Ann Taylor. And it's a petite. So this is a, a nice camel, which is a really good neutral on me. And this one, I think this one's also merino. Yes, extra fine merino. So this is an Ann Taylor Petite. So this one fits really well, but it is a wrap bodice um, sweater with just a long sleeve, but it's got this gorgeous ribbed band here at the bottom to like, I think it's gonna, it's just gonna sit really well, I think on top of pants and it's got this beautiful gathering it's kind of hard to tell at the back neck so I think that's gonna help um, that neckline just sit really beautifully I've not tried this on yet I may have to have a cami underneath it or a, or a tank of some sort but maybe not I'm I'll try it on it may be that I could just put like a little snap in there just to kind of keep things together a little clear stud press stud that I I mean that's what I do with my wrap dresses so I'll put it on and I'll see um, you know kind of what I think um, but I love that color. That's just a really good neutral. And that's kind of the camels I'm really bringing in for. This is a little bit cooler than probably is great, but, um, you know, it works. And then, trying not to, I'm going to totally unthread my machine accidentally. And then I found this one. I, this one has a snag in it, so I'm going to have to work on it. But this is in Elizabeth, New York. It is 100%. It's a silk knit. But look at this. <laughs> is it? fantastic it's like a tiger stripe it's in fantastic and there's like zero pilling it's a hundred percent silk again there's a snag I just need to work at it rep there's a snag right there that I just need to work um, pulling that back through the other side with a needle or a pen but yeah it's in fantastic shape so yeah, this is totally going to get worn as like a t-shirt shell of some sort. Now, it's an extra large, so it may be a little too big on me. So I may, I don't know, we'll play around. Or maybe I'll just wear it kind of oversized and it'll be fine. I still need to try it on. But I'm going to wash this one in my Euclid too. And I think this is more of a, like a bracelet length sleeve. Maybe it's supposed to be three quarter length. It's probably not, it's not going to be three quarter length on me. It's going to be like bracelet length. But look at that. Isn't that hilarious? I love it. Because the um, the base color here is like a really good, almost a mustard color that is really good for me. So, um, yeah. 
So those are the three that I got at Goodwill. And then we went over to um, the consignment store that I'd never been to. And we were over there for quite a while. And I got this t-shirt. Look at that color. Is that not perfection? And it is that neckline that looks really good. Kind of a boat neckline. Um, like a little bit wider and has a little bit of a scoop in it. It is um, long sleeved and it's um, actually it's very similar to the Pamela pattern um, body. Like it's it's real loose in the body, but it is absolutely my color. And the stripe, it is just perfection. And this is an ASOS one. So I, um, I paid $10 for this. <laughs> Which I told her, you know, we were shopping. I was at Jenny. I was like, I don't know. It's $10. It's a t-shirt. And she goes, it's a nice t-shirt for $10. Like, why? <laughs> like, you're right. She's like, this isn't the Goodwill. Like, we're not, you know, you're not going to find things for $4 at the consignment shop, which is true. But it's all secondhand. I feel very good about it because it's giving things a second chance and a second home. I love this, though. This is already, we had some cooler days this weekend, so I've already worn it once. But, oh, my gosh, it is like perfect for my fall wardrobe and then also perfect for my fall wardrobe these are um franco sarto shoes and my size they're suede with like the perforation loafer they look brand new i mean They've been worn a little bit because you can tell, like, you know, they've been worn maybe a few times, but not much because the suede looks absolutely in perfect condition. So very little. <laughs> I'm so excited about these. Oh my gosh. And they smell like new. Um, so I'm going to just treat them because, again, suede's not ideal. Suede can look um, junky if you're not careful. So I will treat them for suede. Like there's a little spot there on the toe of this one, but just barely. That might actually buff out even. Aren't those gorgeous? They're orange, if you can't tell. Like they're like a burnt orange color. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. And they're a little tight. I have kind of a wide foot. They're a little tight across the um, width of my foot, but they are leather. So they are going to um, stretch and conform beautifully. I have some, um, a couple of pairs of Coach driving moccasins. Um, I actually bought my first pair of those and they were suede and they just, they had to go. Um, just because they just, they just get worn. I mean, I wore them to death, but they just got worn looking and um, they just start to look really dingy and yucky after a while. But my suede pair I bought like at Nordstrom's, they were like a hundred and, I don't know, $70 or something. I got them for my birthday. Um, wore them to death. They were a burgundy suede. Uh, and then I was at TJ Maxx that following spring and found the same shoe in slick leather and bought it in a really pale tan and then also like a camel color. And I still have those because it's the same, it's the same shoe. But all three of those pairs were super tight across my foot. And then once I wore them, um, you know, a handful of times, now they're like a second skin on my on my foot and they are absolutely phenomenal. So I think these are gonna be the same. I'm so excited about those, aren't those gorgeous? I mean, they're just gonna go with everything. So yeah, those are gonna be coming into my fall wardrobe as well. Um, in addition to my two pairs of Cole Hans that I purchased. And then I also have a pair of J. Crew shoes that I bought this summer um, for the fall because they were also on stupid discount and I was buying another pair of shoes that were on sale and then saw these little booties that also came home with me. <laughs> and then I also have a pair of high tops that I bought in um, Colorado that I got at a Peruvian shop down there that were, or over there, that were on um, like half off. I got them for $40. Um, they're really cool. So um, yes, I have a lot to show you guys and that's all going to be coming in the work from home module so along. Okay, I've been blabbing at you for almost 21 minutes now. <laughs> so I'm going to let you guys go. Again, I'm sorry that there wasn't like any sewing, but I did want to show you my thrift haul. And um, yes, as soon as I finish the sew along tomorrow, um, I'm very hopeful to get it done tomorrow. It might be Thursday, but then I will be working on my stuff for the um, work from home module challenge. And so you guys will be going along with me and I'll be um, showing you how I make all of those pieces. Um, also something to look forward to. I'm part of the, um, so my style 
their fall 2020 um, fabric tour. Um, so she always does a fabric tour at the changing of the seasons, like the fall one and a spring one, um, where there'll be like a, a blogger or a vlogger each day for um, like usually 10 days or so that will show showcase things that they've made with the new range of fabric because she brings in a whole bunch, like a whole bunch of fabric all at once for the new season. Um, you know, a few things other will trickle in, but for the most part, it's a whole big bulk of things that will come in at the beginning of the season. So that is coming up, um, let's see, the 27th, the first day of fall, which is September 22nd through October 2nd, I think, uh, something like that. But anyway, you guys want to stay tuned to that. So I am going to be a part of that. So I have to make an outfit for that. You guys cannot see that yet. You'll have to wait until my day on the tour, but it is, be it's going to be beautiful. Um, I haven't started it yet, but my plans are, they're good. <laughs> So anyway, that's what we've got looking forward to. And then there's a Love Notions pattern that's being released here really soon that um, I got to be part of. And so that's going to be popping up here soon too. Okay, that's all I've got. Thank you for sticking with me this week. And I will see you again next week. Bye-bye.